element which you have uh, mentioned uh, the inadequate education in the north or in fact 
inadequate education generally in the country, um, inadequate uh, employment opportunities in the country, uh, all, all that are part of uh, what is the, if you like, remote cause of uh, Boko Haram, as far as I'm concerned. But then there are also uh, external elements. Now, the fallout from Libya, and uh, which, of course, as a result of what happened in Libya, those that have been trained in Libya in the time of Gaddafi, from other countries uh, who are, are neighbors of Libya, um, are they, when, when, when Gaddafi fell, they moved out. They moved out with their training, their, uh, their uh, weapons, and um, they, 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 start, they started to uh, wreak havoc on the communities in which they have moved out to. And that is the situation in northern Mali. Chief Ambassador Joe, if I, if I get you correctly, what you're saying is the overthrow of Gaddafi uh, is the result has been what we saw recently with the killing of the U.S. ambassador, with the instability in northern Mali, with Boko Haram. Is that the connection you're drawing? There is, uh, there is connection. Uh, and we know that, that there will be a price to pay uh, in the way that uh, it all went in Libya. That at the end of the day, all of us in Africa and all those who masterminded the way it happened, we have to pay a price, and we are now paying the price. So as you were watching the euphoria surrounding the Arab Spring unfold, you were one of those individuals who felt, hang on for a minute, this is not going to play out the way some people may expect. Now, we were too, it was too early to shout uh, Uhuru with the Arab Spring. And, and, and some of us said that, that, look, what would be the final outcome of this? Let us wait and see. Uh, when you have um, violence and violent overthrow of regimes, you do not know exactly what the final outcome will be.